Hey, tonight, President Barack Obama's views on the Tea Party here in America has finally been exposed. Stunning excerpts from a brand new book reveal the president's belief that racism was, in fact, a deep-seated motivation of the movement. Now, the brutally honest, albeit absurd, assessment can be found in Family of Freedom, Presidents and African Americans in the White House. Now, according to the book, at a private White House dinner in May of 2010, the president explained to his guests that, quote, race was probably a key component in the rising opposition to his presidency from conservatives, especially right-wing activists in the anti-incumbent Tea Party movement. At the same function, a guest argued that the Tea Party is simply angry that a black man is president. Now, rather than dispute that notion, President Obama agreed and reportedly called racism the, quote, subterranean agenda of the movement. So without a shred of evidence, the president has no problem labeling the Tea Party as racist. But in recent years, he's been awfully quick to forgive racially insensitive remarks made by some on the left. Now, remember when Joe Biden, his vice president, said this. I mean, you got the first sort of mainstream African American yeah. who is articulate and bright and, and, and clean and a nice looking guy. I mean, it's, that's a storybook. Well, not long after that statement was made, all was forgiven. And when it was revealed that Senator Harry Reid once referred to Mr. Obama as a, quote, light-skinned African-American with, quote, no Negro dialect, well, it was forgive and forget yet again. But when it comes to fiscal conservatives who happen to degree, disagree with this president, well, he thinks they're fueled by racism. If it isn't racism, well, and if it wasn't so insulting... Well, it'd be laughable. Here with analysis, Fox News political analyst, the one and only Juan Williams. Mr. Williams, welcome back, sir. Mr. Henry, good to be with you, my friend. I, I, I don't know why you're smiling. I'm suspicious. Uh, all right. <laughs> okay. You hear what he's saying here? There's no evidence at all. The vast majority of people were peaceful. They cleaned up after themselves. They don't like higher taxes. They don't, don't like uh, the, the, the direction of the country, the debt, the deficit. Don't don't Americans deserve better than a president saying this either publicly or privately? Well, look, I, I've written in the Wall Street Journal. I think that it's a mistake to say that the Tea Party movement is a racist movement. I think the Tea Party plugs in to mainstream American concern about deficit spending, about big government, intrusive government, people who are angry about the health care bill. I happen to disagree with them, but that anger is legitimate and it's a political policy difference. But I will say this, Sean. You know what? Well, the president said this was a subterranean issue. In other words, it was deep-seated. And I think that when you hear about some of the signs, some of the things that have been said, uh, the Congress people who said that the people were spitting at them, calling them well, names well, when they were going minute. to vote. Wait a minute. There was no evidence of that. In That's, fairness, $100,000 right. was offered. There were a ton of TV cameras, a ton of microphones. Andrew Breitbart offered the money. Nobody produced the tape. But you know that there were signs that made him look like he was the Joker that had him as a communist. The Joker? You know about this in, oh, Come I on. mean, it just it was I think it was mocking and I think it was a very insulting to the president of the United States. You mean but sort, I think sort of like the union saying that Scott Walker, the governor of Wisconsin, is Hitler. He's Mubarak. Uh, he's Mussolini. He's a Nazi. Sort of like that. Yes, and I think that all, all of this is offensive, but, uh, you know, given the racial sensitivities in our history, then the fact that Obama's the first black president, I think that people are going to be paying attention when something like that happens. It's like the other day when this guy at a, you know, meeting with a congressman says, who's going to be the first to shoot Obama, and the congressman doesn't criticize that comment? I mean, boy, that just well, scares me, hey, Sean. Listen, and it's on both sides. There was this Wisconsin Assembly woman who said, you know, you're going to die. Uh, after she she had a vote on on this particular bill that that Scott Walker produced, but uh, let me let me let me take it a step further because in, in the 2008 campaign, remember 2008, Michelle Obama said America is a downright mean country in 2008. The president made his infamous comments about people in in Pennsylvania and a lot of other small towns in the Midwest. Their jobs are gone, uh, and it's not surprising that they get bitter. They cling to their guns. They cling to their religion. They have antipathy. Uh, towards people who aren't like them or anti-immigrant sentiments, etc. I mean, wasn't that revealing if he really thinks that about people in Pennsylvania and the Midwest and his wife thinks America is a downright mean country? What, what are we to make of this? Well, you know, I think that in some cases what, what they're saying is here that they think that there's a lot of anger in middle America. And, of course, if you look at the polls, the polls show that that's exactly true. Most Americans think the country's headed in the wrong direction. But in the book that we're talking about tonight, 
Obama specifically is talking about things like people being upset the government bails out the Wall Street. Wall Street's not very popular. Average working class Americans say, no, no, how no, come no, they bail out Wall Street? You're... They don't bail out me. And, and then they say, what, and the president's black? Wait a minute, why is he helping those guys, not me? Maybe they feel a little distance from him. Well, wait I don't a think race, we would agree, Sean. What race say, is what the an issue is with the first black president. Wait, but what? we've got to be very clear.